Hey guys, it's John Elder from Agoski, Nashville. I'm actually coming to you from inside a hyperbaric chamber. So that noise you just heard is the uh, air starting to flow. I'm getting zipped in it right now. And uh, <clears throat> you can see I'm getting zipped in the bottom here. So if you've never been in a hyperbaric chamber before, these things are pretty cool. It's um, pure concentrated oxygen. It gets pumped in, designed to penetrate at the cellular level. Um, so we're getting some, some uh, you know, pretty immediate uh, effects of, of pure oxygen. Uh, I was in this thing yesterday for about four or five minutes. You can see how, how close the top is to my head here. Um, and as this uh, starts to expand over the course of about three or four or five minutes, this will start to um, elevate. And this, you know, this fabric right now is pretty, uh, pretty loose. I can push on it, I can even grab it here. And uh, you'll, you'll see here in just a minute that this fabric is, becomes tight, almost like, you know, it's like a wall, like a, like a wooden wall, you, if you knocked on it, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, it, it's pressurized, incredibly pressurized. So um, this is starting to fill up with oxygen. Um, I was in here for, the, the, the process yesterday was filling up for about four or five minutes. And then I uh, stayed in for probably another five minutes after that. Um, you'll, you'll see me here in a minute start to uh, yawn, you know, and try to clog my, unclog my ears as, the, uh, as my body acclimates to the pressure. Um, you can see, I don't know how well you can see the, uh, the walls moving, starting to fill up. So it's a, it's a slow process, which is good, so we don't um, rupture my eardrums. Um, but hyperbaric chambers are really good, um, really good for healing, to promote healing through the, um, the oxygen penetration. Um, a lot of professional athletes use these. Um, one in particular, um, I've known Heinz Ward, the, uh, I don't know Heinz Ward, I've known of Heinz Ward to use one, former receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, so you can see now that where the top of that ceiling was and where it is now. So the whole thing has, sorry, I didn't mean to get that close. The whole thing has started to fill up. You can see now, completely smooth here. I can't, I can no longer grab that. Ears are starting to kick in. Not a lot going on right now, but um, yeah, my ears are definitely starting to kick in. Similar sensation to uh, being in an airplane, take off and landing. It's not um, it's not overbearing by any means. It's just that kind of you know more annoying than anything. So I'm gonna sign off here and. We'll, uh, I'll come back with you in just a few minutes once we get uh, up to full pressure. Bye. So we're back again. It's been about four or five minutes, and you can you can see this valve right here is starting to release some pressure to help kind of regulate uh, the pressure inside the chamber. Um, we're at about four. PSI pounds per square inch of um, pressure inside the chamber. Uh, so we're basically at, at full capacity. Um, I can spend anywhere from five minutes uh, in here. Longer typically is better. Um, a lot of professional athletes will, will sleep in their chambers. A lot of, uh, a lot of chambers you'll see are, are kind of tubular in shape. So you can actually lay down, you can be completely horizontal. You can take naps in there. Uh, that's what a lot of professional athletes do, spend two to three hours at a time inside the chamber just sleeping. Um, you can hear the, uh, that hissing noise is the, uh, again, like I said, the oxygen kind of regulating itself. Um, most chambers are horizontal in, in nature. This one is uh, vertical. This is for a, a client of mine. He's 92, um, can't, 
move real well getting in and out of something that would be horizontal like that. Um, so this one has been designed to, it opens up kind of like a clamshell, it's got a top on it, you open it up, he steps in, you close it in, close him in, and then zip him up in it. Um, so you can do anything you want in here, obviously I'm, I'm filming on my phone, you can read a book, the newspaper, whatever. Um, that's another good reason to, uh, to have this one for him, he's going to be able to read his newspaper. So what's something he does every day, this isn't going to take any more time. And it's not going to be anything extra that we introduce. It's just going to be part of his day. He's going to spend about, probably in the beginning, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes in here at a time. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hang out a couple more minutes in here, and then I'll, um, I'll come back and film the, uh, the depressurization process and, and what that's like. showed you earlier when the uh, before the uh, chamber had filled up how loose the uh, the fabric was now you can see this is as you know as hard as any wall um, you know it's like hitting a piece of wood or a piece of fiberglass so we're, we're really you know this it, it's an incredibly pressurized in here um, so much so that this is almost like a hard surface now We're ready to um, uh, depressurize the uh, the chamber. So you're going to hear a little bit of a little bit of a noise, maybe a little bit louder than than when we in the process of filling it up. This little valve uh, right here on the outside that uh, Mike, uh, the guy who's who's getting me in here, uh, is starting to turn, let a little bit of the air out. That'll help the ears kind of. Um, just, you know, just like if, if filling it up was taking off, letting the pressure out is, is the descent of an airplane flight. So, <clears throat> this has been about, I've been in here about 10 minutes. Um, now on my phone, checking Facebook, Twitter, email, and stuff like that. So, like I said, you can do anything in here that you want. Um, but we're going to start the, uh, start the descent. I'll show you some of the, uh, some of the valves here. This is the pressure valve, we're at about 4 PSI. You should start to see that needle kind of drop down as the pressure is starting to release. This, uh, this valve right here, I don't know if you can hear that, but if I put my finger in there, that's, I'm basically stopping that up. Um, I could push this one, let some of the air out that way, or this one here that I showed you earlier. I can do that as well. And that way, so a couple different ways. If pressure gets to be too much, you do have a little bit of control from the inside um, as to what you can do. This is one of the machines or one of the uh, the chambers that you have to have somebody else do it for you. A lot of them are just uh, you can do them yourself. So you can hear this getting louder as we start to as the, the air starts to come out. We start to go back to normal, you know, to matching up the internal pressure with the external pressure. Um, again, very similar to what happens on an aircraft through takeoff and landing. This isn't painful at all. Um, my ears are not popping now like they were when it was filling up with pressure. So overall, it's been a pretty good experience. Um, if you're looking for uh, an increase in energy level. Um, you're going to get that with this because of the saturation rate of the oxygen. It's pure oxygen penetrating your cells. So um, you're going to have a lot more energy. I'm curious to see. i got about a three-hour drive ahead of me. I'm curious to see what happens on my drive home. If, um, you know, if I get fatigued, if I start to uh, yawn, I don't think I will. <clears throat> so I'll, uh, I'll post, uh, I'll, I'll give you an update when I get back home. See ya.